Oh no, it, it is really bugging me. with my mom, dad, Brandy, and Nick have now met us. We just have been looking at some houses, kind of just driving around. We've also gone to a few open houses and an estate sale. And we just got done with lunch. We had Yucatan taco stand and it was very good. I had a chicken taco, Will had a burrito, of which he said was the best burrito he's ever had. Yep, it was shredded beef for like brisket and it was the best burrito I've ever had. Brandy and Nick that we really liked um, just kind of showed them around and then we're not house shopping my parents are just to clarify um, but we are going to go get some ice cream here in a little bit too because there's a cool little ice cream place around here we are in the south side area of Fort Worth and they just have really really cute up-and-coming neighborhoods okay so we're now climbing up ladders to peek in the houses very cute what is it? The bathroom? Yeah. Oh yeah, Will lifted me up to show that earlier. Okay. Yeah, splinter went right through my sand. Oh. You okay? <laughs> I'm good. Now we are off to melt ice creams. We've never had it, but we're very excited. So to walk off some of this ice cream, we're gonna go into Target and spend money that we don't have. Oh, well, we gotta buy some birthday gifts and some, I don't know. I really wanna buy King of Tokyo or King of New York if they have it, but Walmart didn't have it. Walmart had a pretty good selection of board games, so I'm kinda doubting that Target has it. But we shall see. Well guys, we are officially on our way to the gym. We are going to try to get back in the swing of things. This is the first time back in about a month. Yep, as Yoda would say, do or do not, there is no try. So we're either going to get back in the swing of things or we're not going to. So we're going to. We're choosing to get back in the swing of things yep. and we thought, well, we might as well do it on a Sunday evening because we're not going to want to do it tomorrow. And sorry, this lighting is terrible. And the gym's not that busy. <laughs> and hopefully the gym won't be that busy. So hopefully it will be a pleasant experience back at the gym. And I also got this new Fitbit Blaze that my parents got me for my birthday, an early birthday present. I've been really wanting one and I've researched it a lot. And so I was looking today and so I got one. I'm super excited about it. So hopefully it'll motivate me to get back in the gym as well and be like excited about working out have to see how it goes I'll let y'all know how I like it so far I like it a lot I'm just trying to get used to like wearing a watch and it is like a little bit bigger than the Apple watch and a little bit more clunkier which I don't think will bother me in the long term it's just a matter of getting used to it so I was thinking um, that when's the last time we worked out because like we went on vacation we left on June 17th right we left on a Thursday I think pretty sure it was June 17th it was the 16th we yeah. left on the 16th I'm pretty sure I did not work out that week before vacation. If I did, it was like once. Like we might have yeah, worked out the weekend before. Yeah, maybe that Sunday or something. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, we were so busy that week. I mean, we were still running lots of errands yeah. and shopping and packing. So you're right. I don't know if we did. So, I mean, it's almost been a month. You know, we could end, right? go back to the vlog and see <laughs> when the true. last time we worked out was, but I don't think I want to know because I know that it's been a month and at least yeah. and. Or almost a month, I guess. I think I almost went month, three weeks. that week, one of those days that week, like Tuesday or Wednesday. Maybe without me. I think so. I, think so. I don't know. But it doesn't matter. We're starting over. We're yep. going to get re-motivated and try to get our muscles back in shape because I'm I've, pretty sure I've lost everything I ever gained, which is so frustrating about working out. Well, like, but your muscles have muscle memory, so like it won't take any time for your muscles to get back to where they're at. I'm going to have to start at lower weight. But I've but noticed in my arms, like, I'm like, oh, we're going to be so, so sore tomorrow. I haven't had pre-workout in like a month, so hopefully I'm not up till 3 a.m. Uh, you probably will be, but that's okay because when we get home, I have high hopes of 
of doing a lot of laundry, cleaning your bedroom, and watching a movie, so you better have fit in yet to stay up a little bit later tonight, because the weekend just flew by. We did not get near as much stuff done as we wanted to or needed to. We spent a lot of time with family and friends, which is always worth it. I'd rather do that than clean my house every weekend, because um, we clean the house anytime. It didn't help that we slept into like 10 and 11 on Saturday and Sunday. We so. got up at 11 today, guys. Not but good. it's because Dell woke us up. He woke, I'm pretty sure he woke us up at like 6.30 or 7. And so I didn't sleep very hard for like two hours because it's like I kept waking up every five minutes because yeah. he was jingling his bell or whatever. But still, there's no reason we should sleep uh -huh. until 11. And I woke up actually at like 9.30, played on my phone for a while and stuff, and then actually got tired again and went back to sleep. Yeah. Oh, well. Anyways, so we are almost to the gym, so wish us luck. Well, we just got done with our workout. She did not go. No, I'm a slacker. She's a slacker. <laughs> Me and Will just got done, and we're over here at Brandy and Nick's. We're gonna watch some Big Brother, and apparently he's gonna nip on my ear. Hi, Leo. How are you, buddy? Did you miss me? Oh, he's like licking the inside of my ear. That feels so gross. Him and Griffin both love, love giving wet willies. Yeah, I don't like Griffin do it, but Leo like nipples, and you know, it just kinda like <laughs> sends the chills down yeah. your spine. <laughs> Anyways, it is big brother time, so we are going to watch that, and here, we came here to get tree trimmers, so don't let us forget our tree trimmers. Oh, There's Ainsley, baby. There's my Ainsley. I haven't seen you in so long, baby. Oh, kisses from Ainsley. Oh! <laughs> Deja vu. You've done that on the vlog before. <laughs> was the worst I've ever gotten from Ainsley. They both love you, Macy. They do. Well guys, we are home and we had a lot of fun watching Big Brother with Brandy and Nick and seeing their precious doggies. Um, but now Will is trying to uh, fix our couch. It kind of like doesn't close very well. Well these, so, the, the little things that like keep it propped up, they bend easily. Yeah. So. I don't know. It is definitely on my want list to get a sectional for our living room. So I think I'm going to start saving for that, kind of putting money back. I mean, it's definitely not something I'm just going to go out and buy because couches are so expensive. And so we don't have the money for that. But I think I'm just going to start saving for it over time and then maybe, you know, I don't know. I don't even know what my goal is and like when I want to buy it. But I'm just going to start saving and see what we can get. Um, and hopefully get a nicer couch for our living room, something a little more cozy and snuggly. Anyway, so we have this really nice ceiling fan and it has a little remote that goes with it and we've lost it. We've lost the remote and it's been like two days now and it's driving us nuts. Like Will, I think, cleaned the other day, which I was super grateful for, but I think it got misplaced some at some point during there or it's in the couch cushion. I don't know, we're usually really, really good about it and it's just, disappeared so I don't know it, it is really bugging me but good thing we've got this little lamp in the corner because it makes a really big difference so we think we'll found it because the lights just flickered yay that's amazing let there be light thanks record, Will I, don't, I mean I'm not like I don't think it was either of us that misplaced it <laughs> I think it got just like squished oh, in that seat and that is usually where I sit but I'm not saying it's your fault because I don't I think was blaming it on I'm Will sorry. the entire time and it ended up being stuck in my couch. Cause not With a remote that small, it's bound to get lost time and time again. So that was just the first time it happened. I'm sure it will happen many, many more times. But I'm glad we found it and it's kind of ironic that it was Will that found it because Will's not the best um, looker for things. Yeah. What's, this, what's the little uh, poem you say? Is it St. Andrews? St. Anthony. St. Anthony. Yeah, so I didn't say it this time. Growing up, we had some friends that were Catholic. We grew up uh, Baptist, but they taught us this little saying when you lose something, you say, Dear St. Anthony, please come round. There's something lost that can't be found. Yeah, that's just kind of what I did growing up, but it always worked. Like, it always helped me find stuff. I think, too, it's just kind of like a mindset kind of thing. Like, it makes you believe that you can find it, like that it's there. So, anyways, but we didn't use that this time, but we should my, have. My mom growing up, she would always say, so, like if she lost something, me and my sister and my dad would just kind of be like, oh no, I don't see it, I can't find it. And then she'd be like, I'll give $10 to the first person who can find it. We'd all scramble. <laughs> like, it was usually, 
It was usually me or Abby, I think, that would get it. It's funny. Probably Abby. Because, man, maybe I need to bribe you with $10 more often. I'm telling you, it used to always work. We are going to get ready for bed, and I think we're going to actually watch a movie tonight because my parents let us keep a red box that they had rented called Eye in the Sky. Eye in the Sky, yeah. Um, so I think we're going to watch that, maybe stay up a little bit later than we probably should on a Sunday night. But anyways, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Written down the words to say It is time I've been waiting five days To explain How you make me feel inside Baby Got it all